Uh, Buck Henry is on the program. Buckwheat Zydeco supermodel Christy Turlington. Uh, you know, uh, we couldn't do this uh, show without a lot of help from uh, college interns. Young people who come and uh, spend a semester with us, uh, a quarter, whatever, and they get academic credit for helping us out here on the show. Working on this show. Yeah, they, yeah. they work as a, a... Now, what the hell do you mean by that? Uh, and and they, they work with uh, me. They work with uh, our producer, Robert Bob Morty Bob Morton. They, they work with that guy who just screamed out in the audience. Uh, and uh, we thought, uh, what did we think? We thought today we'd talk to one, right? Yeah, yeah, well, I can tell you why not. Uh, so we thought we would call up one of these uh, wonderful college interns. I believe they're starting a, a fresh term here. Well, that's lovely. So at the beginning of the term, we're going to just get one on the phone. Talk to one. Boy. No, maybe we won't. That's all right. Well, well uh, we're going to take a week off and rewire the entire studio. Okay, Paul, a little dialing music, if you don't mind. Here we go. We'll be speaking with one of... I, the intern's name is now Matt? Okay. <laughs> Ten minutes ago, the intern's name was Elizabeth. Five minutes ago, the intern's name was Megan. And now we have Matt. Okay, here we go. A little dialing music, if you don't mind. And we thought we would call up and just uh, chat with uh, one of our college uh, interns and, and get to know, is it still Matt? Hi, hi, Matt. Is that you? Uh, yes, it is me. Matt, this is me, Dave. How, how are you doing? Uh, just fine. How are you doing? What, what exactly are your chores up there as intern this evening? Uh, well, uh, this evening I'm, I'm answering telephone calls. I'm, uh, I'm taking lots of messages, uh, and uh, I'm keeping an eye on this uh, construction on the desk. Uh huh. And now, is, <laughs> has that construction been authorized? Is it up to code? Uh, it seems to be. At this point, uh, we have no problem. Okay. Matt, where do you go to school? Uh, I go to Bowdoin College. Uh, Bowdoin College in Maine? That's correct. What are you studying in Maine? Uh, I'm uh, uh, studying English. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you know, Matt, it's a good thing we don't have you hooked up to a polygraph. Uh, and what are you going to do when you graduate with that English degree from Bowdoin College? Uh, well, I guess, uh, I guess the answer would become a writer. Oh, good. What, what sort of writing are you interested in doing? Uh, gosh, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, beats me. Comedy. Maybe I'll do some comedy writing. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Uh, okay, Matt, have you enjoyed your experience with us so far? It's been great, yeah. Okay, uh, if you don't mind, we're going to give you a little quiz about your life as an intern here on the program. Okay. Do you mind? Okay, I'll do that. Are you relaxed? Do you feel good? Are you happy? Are you confident? I don't think relaxed is the word, but... All right. That makes two of us. Hal, go ahead and put up the clock, if you don't mind. You have 45 seconds. We're just going to ask you a few questions. And we'll see how you do here, Matt. Are you ready? I'm all set. Okay, which network are we on? NBC. That's right. Can you name our musical director? Paul Schaefer. How tall am I? Six for two. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm six six. <laughs> have you ever stolen office supplies? No. Of course you have. Uh, what time do I arrive each day? Uh, 10 a.m. 6 a.m. <laughs> uh, name of the intern who really isn't pulling his weight. Oh, uh, I don't think I can say that. Yeah, okay. We, we think it's that tall guy. <laughs> Might be you, Matt. How, how much do you make up there? Uh, I make, uh, I, I'm, I'm... Nothing. Working. All right. <laughs> if companies call offering us free stuff, are we interested? Uh, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> And finally, name some former late-night interns who have gone on to become famous. Chris Elliott. That's right, that was one. Tom Hanks is another. Paula Abdul. And also Los Angeles Dodgers center fielder Eric Davis. <laughs> there you go, Matt. Nice chatting with you. Take care. Good luck. Have a nice summer. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Matt, you know, uh, All right, Bill, let them relax. <laughs> uh, let's see, I tell you what, we're going to lengthen our phone cord. That'll be the first order of business for tonight's show. When we come back, Buck Henry will be here, ladies and gentlemen.
to tell you is on the uh, program tonight, Buck Henry will be out in a couple of moments. Also, Buckwheat Zydeco. You sound great over there with Paul in the band. Nice to have you here. I think you're looking at the foremost proponent of the Zydeco music in this country right here. <laughs> you got to be right about yeah, that. I, I, was, I, 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 I was the one to... I, 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 I... <laughs> For a moment there, I couldn't stop doing, I, 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 and I thought a seizure was ahead of me. Uh, Buckwheat Zydeco, also the lovely, uh, lovely uh, international uh, leggy top supermodel, uh, Christy Turlington. What? What's the matter? Yeah, okay. Uh, and we talked to an intern. We've already spent a few minutes talking with the future of America. One of our interns, Matt from Bowdoin College there in, uh, up there in Maine. Studying English, he thinks. There he is now. Hard at work. Dialed him up some cartoons. All right. Uh, in the meantime, let's do our uh, top ten list. How do you do? Buckwheat Zydeco and uh, Christy Turlington will be out here a little bit later. A lovely woman. I have not had the pleasure of meeting her. Is she a nice woman, Bob? <clears throat> will we be will we will we be delighted and charmed by our presence? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, also, uh, tomorrow on the show we have uh, Jacques Pepin who will be here. What will he be cooking tomorrow? What are we talking about over there now? What will he be cooking tomorrow? He'll be making a uh, catfish. Oh, catfish! Oh mm. man, do I love catfish! One of them big giant boys. Oh yeah, try and try and come back tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Again. Uh, also, comedian. Okay. Comedian Rich Hall will be here tomorrow, and uh, we'll look forward to that. Uh, I, I thought that we have a couple of seconds here. Yeah, I, I'll read you another list. This will be our third list of the night, and this one is my uh, summertime checklist. Oh, these, right. these, are, these are things that I need to accomplish, uh, you know, during the summertime. A little uh, reminder for myself. I'll read you another list of comedy for you here. <laughs> this, this one will be punctuated and highlighted... Is he ever in the mood for comedy? I don't get it. All right, here we go. Our third comedy list of the night, punctuated and highlighted by sound effects. Here we go. My summertime checklist. Secure lawn mowing attachment on Miata. Uh, yeah, I've done that. Uh, see, that's where that sound effects come in. They punctuate. Exactly. And highlight. And highlight. That's right. They're punctuating the and highlighting our third list of comedy items tonight. Uh, all right, let's see. Get antifreeze replaced at Sears Automotive Center. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got, a, I got a pretty good deal on it, too. Uh, pull wrecked snowmobile out of pool. Oh, no. I haven't done that one yet. Hook up bug zapper to the clapper. Here, here's a little comedy tip for you and the intern upstairs. If you can get it to rhyme and then punctuate it with a sound effect. Oh, man. Do it. Uh, It's uh, Friday night, and uh, on Friday nights we try to do something a little extra special, a little different, and uh, tonight is certainly no exception. Paul, have you seen a guy by the name of Marshall Silver on Absolutely. television? Absolutely. Marshall Silver is a professional hypnotist. Yes. In fact, he was on our old show years and years ago, hypnotizing people, and it's interesting, it's fascinating, and uh, maybe you've seen this guy's got like an infomercial where he tells you how you can be a better version of who you are if you spend the day in deep hypnosis. Here, we'll roll a little of the Marshall Silver. Uh, if you're is. watching this infomercial right now, you're probably not yet where you want to be. Uh, I mean, if you had everything you wanted, most likely you'd be somewhere else. Yeah. Maybe a tropical paradise with $10,000 in your pocket and a sexy friend beside you. You. Sexy partner beside you, yes, sir. Marshall, obviously, in a deep trance right there. Uh, so uh, we have kind of a relationship with Marshall from the old show, and uh, we have seen him there in his uh, infomercial, and we thought, well, maybe what we ought to do is bring Marshall in here to New York City, and we'll have him hypnotize many of our staff members. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's exactly, we did that a couple of weeks ago. We brought Marshall in. Here he is hypnotizing the staff. In a moment, I'm going to begin relaxing you step by step. As I do, simply concentrate. As I touch you, your arms are limp, loose, and relaxed. Heavy weights on your sides, way down. 
four, way down. The more you concentrate, the lighter that hand will become until it feels as if there is a giant bouquet of helium balloons attached to your wrist. On the next number, number one, balloons expand to a million times their original size. Going further and further up, the more you concentrate. Look at me, Biff. Sleep, Biff. Way <laughs> Sleep. Way down, Matt. It's a pretty sight, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Our staff in hypnosis. Sleep. Sleep. So, uh, we got the staff, uh, we had volunteers from the staff, anybody who wanted to be hypnotized could be hypnotized, and then we decided, well, while they're under, we'll just goof around with these people. So that, that's what we're going to be doing tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's hypnosis night here on The Late Show, and uh, the first one of these, I believe it's uh, me, Marshall, and you're going to see one of our stage managers, Biff Henderson, and a young man uh, by the name of Matt Roberts, who is a researcher here on The Late Show. Go ahead, roll the videotape. It's hypnosis night. Sleep now. Sleep Wait. now. There he goes. He's, he's out like a carp now, ain't he? Wait a minute. All right. Now, can we make him do a funny thing? Yeah. What, what would you like him to do? Uh, I want. I want it when he. Uh, 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 I, when he comes to, I just want him just to start laughing about how much money I make, and it's way too much money. Just laugh and laugh and laugh. You got it. On the count of three, you'll open your eyes. The moment Dave says, "How much money do you think I make?" It'll hit you full force, and you will roar with laughter. On the count of three, open your eyes. Biff, feeling fantastic in every way. One, two, three. Fully aware. Biff, how you doing? Okay. Do you think I do an okay job on the show? <laughs> you do great. Yeah, yes. I screw it up every now and then, though. You know, I screw it up. Well, it's funny. Yeah, but I'm, as far as you're concerned, I'm, I'm worth the money they're paying me, right? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah, you're sure. You're worth yeah. the money. Yeah. You yeah. don't think I'm getting too much money, right? <laughs> okay. no. Huh? No, no, wait a minute. What's the, what's the damn funny? <laughs> what? I work hard for my money. <laughs> If Dave asks you anything about how much money he makes, it'll be more than you can stand. At first, it won't bother you much, but the more he asks, the more bothered you'll get. Till finally, you'll let him know exactly what you think, that you don't think he's worth a dime. Uh, what kind of things do you do on the show? I'm a researcher, yeah. so I research the backgrounds of the uh, guests we have. We have a pretty impressive research library, don't we? We do. We have a great research yeah. library. You know, I was thinking about that. I know that uh, I get a lot of money, but one of the benefits of having all of that money is the uh, facility, the research facility, you know. So I, I don't feel so badly making that kind of money when I can provide services like that for people like yourself and others who work on the show, you know. Are you kidding? About what? <laughs> I mean, like with the amount of money that you make, we could be like in a palace, we could have a research palace. Right. I honestly, Giff, I'm out there sweating my brains out, not getting right out. <laughs> I... You know, you, I mean, you, you enjoy the benefits of my wealth by working here and knowing me. You have a really wealthy friend. That's kind of a crock. <laughs> if I was making like a hundred bucks a week, would that be too much? <laughs> uh, okay. <I> think, <laughs> Sleep! No way. <laughs> Sleep. Oh, you can't. You get so much, and I'm, you, you, you work, okay, so you work a few more hours than me. Right. But, the, but let me ask you this, what do you care? You got a shirt on your back, you get three meals a day, you have a place to live, you have money for dates. But the, I don't have, uh, I don't even have one million dollars. You don't and deserve you have it. You don't deserve it. I deserve it. Fourteen! No, no, I know. Fourteen! I know, Look, but it, no, right, if you could give me one and you'd still have thirteen. <laughs> I, I put in a long day. You know? I mean, I, I know all that stuff you read in the newspaper. You know, that's not true. I ain't making that. I'm really not making that much money, Bib. There you go. That was uh, Biff Henderson and uh, Matt Roberts. Now, Biff, let me ask you something. Do you, do you think I'm making too much money? You think I make too much money, Bill? No, seriously. <laughs> really? Uh, we put him under. We put him under again. Uh, we got to pause for a commercial. We have this and so much more right after you take a look at it. I'll be right back.
It's hypnosis night uh, here on the Late Show. Now you know we wanted uh, we wanted Marshall, uh, the hypnotist, to come in and hypnotize Biff again, but he couldn't come in, so we had him do it on the phone. And Biff this afternoon was talking. I didn't know you could hypnotize people on the phone, but it was like this: Hello, uh huh, uh huh. Ah. And you're out cold now, right, Biff? I'm here. You're you're here now. But every time I ask you about how much money I make, what happens? <laughs> because you were hypnotized. You, you were hypnotized on the phone, right? What? Yeah, you were hypnotized on the phone. Yeah. You don't think you don't think I make too much money, do you, man? All right, okay. Oh, on the uh, program this evening, uh, David Hydras. We should have Marshall hypnotize the audience each and every night. Say, there's an idea. Scott Thompson from uh, Kids in the Hall. Hey, Zemma, look at that million-dollar haircut. Is that a million-damn-dollar haircut? Absolutely. And uh, also pulp. All right, let's go back to uh, the hypnosis experiment. And I believe this time uh, it'll be Biff, it'll be uh, Matt Roberts, the young man you saw earlier, and uh, one of our interns, a young man by the name of Don Haynes. Here we go. Hypnosis. Dave promised you a car a long time ago. Where are you yeah. from, Don? Uh, I'm from uh, Long Island. Oh, Long Island, so right here in the area. Yeah, Where do you go to school? Long. I go to uh, Suffolk College. Mm -hmm. And you've there. been an intern here for us for how long? Uh, a couple months now. That's good. So, excuse me, Dave. Yeah. I remember, uh, I, think, I think it was in January. All right. Um, speaking of money, since you brought it up, mm -hmm. uh, remember you promised me a car at the end of the intern? I, just I promised you a car? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, I promised you a car. Yeah, yeah, in January. You, you, you came with the internship and gave me a car? Yeah, you said, you know. It, I don't have that kind of money. I just no, don't have that kind of money. I, I'm, I'm telling you. I, on the count you'll open your eyes, Matt, you'll no longer be Matt, you'll be David Letterman. In fact, you'll be David Letterman introducing Marv Albert. When Marv comes out, Marv will want to talk, but you'll want him to get to the clips that he's brought with him. On the count of three, open your eyes. One, two, three, wide awake. Our next guest is the wild and wackiest sports announcer I know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big late show welcome to Marv Albert. Marv? You know, earlier today I shared a cab down to Madison Square Garden with uh, Pat <laughs> Ewing. <laughs> and the, boy, is his hair oily. <laughs> and I, I said to Pat... I said to... Uh, How about Pat, the clips? Yeah, I said to Pat Riley, I said, wow, wh what is that, 10W30? On, on his hair. <laughs> the, yeah, 10W30. Yeah, yeah, that's what I Do said Do you have the clip reel? How about, let's go to the tape. Well, Jerry? Just, no, I'm not... <laughs> I want a Porsche. I want a 944 Porsche. I want you on your car. Dave, go ahead. Roll the tape. Okay, Jerry, can, let's see the wild and wacky. Sweet! <laughs> Power windows, automatic, air conditioning, everything I want. A Sleep car. now. The moment you open your eyes, you are Madonna in her rawest and sexiest best. On the count of three, you're Madonna. One, two, three, wide awake. How are you? Okay. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Thank you very much for being on the show. I oh. really appreciate it. Oh, it's good to be here. It's very nice of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What the did you just say? I just I said, I said it was nice to see you and thanks for coming on the show. Biff, Biff, sleep now, <laughs> sleep now, <laughs> sleep now, oh, man, what happened, you sit down, are you all right, all right, well, don't sleep I now, <laughs> well, get him on the phone, I put Biff to sleep, you all right, buddy, I'm okay, all right, okay. but I gotta go, to, I gotta uh, do this, all right, do whatever you need to do, the show, all right, okay, <laughs> all right. lie down, if you'd rather lie down, go right ahead, I'm, I'm all right, okay, right okay. now, okay, <laughs> sleep, Sleep. Oh, no. <laughs> Sleep now. There you go. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? He's out. Biff. 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 At, huh? I do what? I do what? Yeah, but I know we'll do the top ten. What about this man? What about this unconscious man here in the chair? Screw it. Do the top ten. The top ten will put him even deeper under. 
Is, is, I, I don't know, is he all right? I just feel kind of silly with an unconscious human sitting here next to me. Huh? All right. And then he'll be fine, right? He looks so, he looks so peaceful. Oh, I gotta hope he's all right. All right, we'll, we'll just uh, do a commercial then, and we'll be right back here. Yeah? <laughs> program tonight, uh, David Hyde Pierce is here, also uh, Pulp and, uh, and Scott Thompson. This is Biff Henderson, uh, one of our stage managers. <laughs> Biff, like many of our staffers, enjoys a nice nap during the show. Uh, Biff was placed in hypnosis earlier this afternoon, I'm told. Now on the line here we have Marshall Silver, who's going to get us out of this fix. Hello, Marshall. Hello, Dave. How are you? I'm awesome. You, you just call me. I'm between shows here in Vegas. <laughs> Ah, well, that's great. We have a medical emergency, but I'm glad things are going well for you there in Vegas. Uh, How can I help you, Dave? Well, What's Marshall, I was uh, screwing around, and I was doing that sleep, and I uh, put, Dave, I put, I put, warned you. put Biff to sleep, and I believe Matt Roberts, the uh, other staff member, is asleep now. There, he's out <laughs> cold. Dave, what you need to do is you need to lean over. Uh -huh. You need to uh, whisper into Biff's ear. <laughs> whisper in his ear. On the count of three, Biff, you'll open your eyes, feeling fantastic in every way. All right. Secure in the knowledge that I'm giving you a raise. <laughs> All right. That'll okay. bring him right out of trance. And, and then at the count of three, and then do I snap my fingers or any of that? No, you just count from one to three after that, and he'll come right out of trance. Here we go. Hang on, Marshall. Don't go anywhere. Glad to hear things are going well in Vegas. <laughs> Biff, it's, it's me, Dave. At, at the count of three, you'll awaken refreshed, happy, confident, full of wonderful feelings and thoughts, excited by the knowledge that you're here with your friend Dave and that our long relationship continues everything better than it ever has been in every way possible for you, me, and all your family. Here we go. One, two, three. Just get up there and walk around. Can you get up? Yeah. yeah. Easy, easy. I, I know, I know, ladies, I know it looks like you're witnessing a crime, but <laughs> believe me, everything is fine. Watch your step there, Biff. You okay? Yeah. You a little wobbly there, buddy? Uh, you okay? Yeah. Everything all right? Yeah. Okay. You gonna, we're going to return you. We'll just chain you to the camera, okay? <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Thanks. Let's yeah. go. Cool. All right. Huh? You just went to sleep. <laughs> you went to sleep. You notice, you notice how I avoided that part about the raise? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why was that? Okay, now, how, what about Matt? Will, was he taken care of, or will we let, uh, we'll let somebody else take care of him? All right, thank you very much, Marshall. Hey, Dave, glad I could help. All right, nice chatting with you. Bye-bye. Have a great show. Okay, we have a great show, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got people unconscious on the set. How can you have anything but a great show? <laughs> Dave? Yeah, don't do that. Oh, no, did, did, you didn't go down again, did you, Biff? <laughs> He's going. <laughs> He's going down. Oh, my God. What are we doing now? And, and why are we doing it, come to think of it? Huh? We're doing the... Okay, fine. Uh, our first guest uh, is the Emmy Award-winning uh, star of the very popular Frasier, and I'm told he, uh, too, is unconscious. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program the always entertaining David Hyde Pierce. David? <laughs> Hey, 
are you doing? I am so scared of you. Uh, I had nothing. I had nothing to do with this. If the phone rings, I'm not answering it. <laughs> oh I'm my sorry God. about all of the problems. Have you ever been hypnotized yourself? No, no, but you know, it was so exciting to meet Madonna. That was the big thrill. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lovely young thing, isn't yes. she? She looks so different in person. I like but, how you know. she wears her socks about halfway up her ankles. That's a good yeah, look. Nice. Uh, <laughs>